Hey everybody, it's me, Cheryl Couture, and today we are going to talk about gimmicks. Now, I know gimmick is a taboo word, okay? But it's not. Every business needs a gimmick, trick, and or scheme to get people in the door. Now, let me just, first of all, let me just read the definition of gimmick. Gimmick is a trick or device intended to attract attention, publicity, or business. So just because it's a gimmick, it don't have to be used in a negative term. You can use a fancy trick or a trick as in a talent that no one else has to get people into your doors and for you to get more business. So with me, my gimmick was um, doing sewings in a timely manner. So when I got into the game of doing sewings, because I started this industry as a braider and I would do y'all might have to google this word micro dots or micro braids um in four hours so i would do a full head of micro braids in four hours and people like holy crap it usually take people about 10 hours to do these but i taught myself a faster way of doing it by splitting the whole head into quadrants so i would have four basically i would part the hair into four big sections and then I give myself one hour to complete each section and I, until I got that like down pack that's how I really got into doing micro braids or micro dots I'm from the south we call it micro dots um, done in four hours maybe five at the most um, then when I uh, transitioned into doing sewings and things like that most people in the market would do sewings in two to three hours some people still do sewings between two to three hours i've heard horror stories of people getting it done in five hours i'm like what the heck are you doing for five hours on somebody's head that you know what what does it require like what are you doing so i i took the time when i first started doing sewings it would take me two hours two and a half hours to do a sewing and i literally locked myself in my house um at that time, when I first started doing sewings with, with the two hour frame, it I used to charge like 180 for a sewing. So I sat back and I was just like, you know, when the industry started going towards quick weaves and stuff like this, y'all know I'm wait, y'all know I'm ancient. But when everything started uh, transitioning to quick weaves and the glue in techniques and all that stuff, and people was getting quick weaves done in like an hour, hour and a half, and I was doing sewings in like two hours, two and a half hours, I'm like, wait, if I get a sewing done in a time that it takes to do a quick weave. You know, I'll be winning because the sewing's gonna last longer and it's healthier for the hair. And if I get it flat, like everybody was like geeking off of the quick weaves because it was so flat. And once again, it got done really fast. So I'm like, if I get it flat, get it done fast, and it'll be healthier for the hair, I'm winning. So I basically barricaded myself in my house for like two or three months and I dropped my price down to like 50, 60 bucks just so I could get people in to practice on them. So the gimmick was you can get your hair done faster and it's going to cost you less. That was the gimmick to get people in. But this is just for me to practice on. You know what I mean? Practice getting my time down to an hour. And once I saw that I was doing people sewings consecutively for an hour, just not one out of the day, but every person was getting their hair done in an hour, hour and a half at the most. If I'm shampooing, blow drying and all that stuff, yes, it'll take an hour and a half. But then I was just like, whoa, wait a minute. I could hire, some, hire someone to shampoo them and braid them down, charge them a hundred, you know, a hundred bucks just for the sewing, 125 if they want the shampoo or whatever. So what I would do is they are like, yeah, I want the shampoo and everything done. Boom. Okay. So <laughs> I would pay the assistant 20 bucks to do the shampoo and braid down and I'll just sew it in and style it. So here it is. By the time you sit in my chair, I'm getting you out in an hour or less. You know what I mean? And that was my gimmick, in and out in an hour. You know what I mean? And they know that if they have their hair shampooed and everything, that it might add on extra time. But my gimmick was in and out in an hour and you get a sewing for $100. So now the whole quick weave bag came and went. And I have these clients with hair down to their butt because they stuck with the sewing because once again, it was getting done in an hour and it was way more healthy. So what you have to do is come up with a gimmick to catapult your business, okay? Um, I always use the makeup industry because I know a lot of girls are into makeup and stuff like that right now. And you have to sit there and be like, what's going to set you doing makeup apart from everybody else? Why should somebody pay you 
45 or 85 or however much, how much they charge. I don't know how much they charge, but whatever it is they charge, why should they pay you this instead of going to this person? What's going to set you apart from everybody else? So you have to sit there and think of something that will definitely get somebody in the door. I don't care if it's uh, you get a set of free lashes. If you come to get your makeup done with me, I get your free lashes. Or, you know, um, a natural glam beat only take 15 minutes or something. You know what I'm saying? It has to be cost effective. So you still have to be making the same amount of money or more using your gimmick. And it has to meet a need of the audience. Because I talked about that in my last video about meeting a need. When I barricaded myself in my house and learned how to do sewings at a faster rate, I will always ask people, why is it, what what keeps you from going to the salon? And I would say about 89% of people said it was time consuming. Like it would take their whole day. Like, I, I mean, they appreciate us, but they, I don't have a whole day to sit in the salon and get my hair done. And it was mainly because of unprofessionalism. People gossiping, talking, uh, kids being in the salon, you know, stuff like that. It was just an uncomfortable experience. And then when they would come to my house and get their hair done, it's just like, okay, I don't, how can I say that? I don't want you to take it the wrong way or whatever, but it's just like they'd rather come to my house instead of going to a salon because they knew they were, they were getting one-on-one -on -one attention and they were getting in and out in an hour, okay? So I had converted my garage into a salon, so everything, you know, met state requirements, but at the same time, you still going to somebody's house, paperwork or not, you in somebody's house. I would rather go to a salon, but give me the same professional courtesy that you would give anybody else. I don't want to be in there with you talking over my head, you gossiping about this and that. If you were encouraging me or if you're telling me, you know, something new that I don't know that's going to um, add value to my life, talk to me all day long. I don't want to hear about who said with who, who prayed from who, who shot who, who got locked up, who ain't locked I don't want to hear none of that stuff. I have one life to live and I don't want to live it listening to your gossip. You know, so at the end of the day, that's what I gave my clients. I know I didn't want to hear that, and 90% of my clients, they don't want to hear it either. So most of the time, I give them the service that they want, and that's that. But you have to sit down and think about what, don't use gimmick as a negative word. What is your gimmick going to be? We're going to use it as a positive word. What is it that I can offer my people, my clients, that's going to get these people in the door, one, that's going to uh, build relationships, too. That's going to put money in my pocket, three. And that's going to allow them to refer somebody else to me. So this weekend, today and tomorrow, and whenever you watch this video for 48 hours, think about what your gimmick is going to be to get people in the door and bring, bring you more business, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. Yay for gimmicks. Woohoo!